This is the SCS Defender of Freedom, uploading data log for days 244 through 251 of the Second Galactic War. Hello, Data Archive. In the past week, we have held back the automaton advances on our Deep Mental Forge complex. The Democracy Space Station's construction continues uninterrupted, and as we begin a new terminated quarantining effort, we have seen the closest defense in the history of this war. Where we last left off on day 244, October 9th, the Major Order was a hold Clowrell to secure the Deep Mental Forge Complex. And having just defended Clowrell, Helldiver Forges then attempted to support the defense of Vernon Wells. But unfortunately, the defense was already too far behind, causing the planet to be lost. It is of note that Tarsh, our DSS Logistics Hub, is now vulnerable to attack. And should this happen, it will be of utmost importance to defend the planet. Hours later, another automaton attack reached Zephia for the first time in this war. With two more successful defenses required for the Major Order, Helldivers deployed to the purple, uh, pink planet? The Zephia system. Yeah, uh, that doesn't help, but thank you. The Bot Assault attempted to breach our defenses to further establish control over the Tannis Sector. Our Helldivers faced against what seemed like the largest invasion fleets we have yet seen. Though many brave Helldivers were lost, the defense progressed heavily in our favor. Lasting through the night into the morning of October 10th, the Solstice Toasters appeared to be running out of reinforcements, and Helldivers stood tall, shutting down another defense for managed democracy. But our non-sentient enemies are incapable of learning from their past mistakes. Unable to accept the peaceful and righteous liberation of their forge, the electronic idiots attack Clowrell yet again, expecting a different result. Helldivers deployed to Clowrell to stop this desperate, unprovoked attack to take Super Earth's hard-earned forge. The sacrifices made by Helldivers in the past week to secure this key infrastructure for managed democracy would not go to waste. By the start of Day 246, just like their previous pathetic attempts, the attack was easily destroyed. With the requirements for the Major Order now met, Helldivers deployed to Vernon Wells and Pandion 24 until the Major Order was completed. Clowrell has held and the Deep Mantle Forge Complex has been completed. And with this victory, the DSS has reached a new stage in development over Yelavar. However, a data breach was discovered at the DSS Logistics Hub on Tarsh. The extent of the stolen information is still unclear, but we must remain ever vigilant to protect all of our assets for the DSS. And just over one hour later, new orders were received from High Command. Our research for the high-efficiency Alcubierre drives on Turing is progressing well. However, there is currently a bottleneck on the number of terminated specimens available. The Democracy Space Station will require a significant increase in our E710 requirements, hence High Command has ordered the establishment of the Terminated Research Reserve on Akamar 4. The Research Reserve will see terminates inside tightly controlled areas on Akamar 4. Terminates will of course be allowed to develop naturally, but will be kept in check by a spacious network of electrified fences. We aboard the Defender of Freedom are always thrilled to see progress on developments of terminated agriculture. The major order is to establish a quarantine zone surrounding Akamar 4 in order to establish the Quarantine Research Reserve. Thus, the major order is to maintain control over Turing, Crimsica, Gokrux, Pandion 24, and Darius 2. Shortly following the receipt of new orders, new bug outbreaks occurred on Akrud 3 and Trandor. However, focus on the targets for the Major Order, Helldiver is primarily deployed to Pandion 24. While securing the planets around Akamar 4 is our top priority, losing the defense on Akrud 3 would give the opportunity for the Terminids to attack our lab on Turing. Helldiver attempted to rally to have more Super Destroyers deployed for the cause, and by the end of the day, a shift of 10% of all Helldiver forces began supporting the defense. But even at this point, the defense was 13% behind, and it seemed very unlikely that this defense could be saved. But going into Day 247, an unprecedented shift to a planet not explicitly listed in the Major Order was beginning to make the defense seem possible. And with just 14 minutes remaining on the defense, Helldivers retook the lead with less than 1% remaining for both sides. And in the closest defense that we have ever recorded aboard the Defender of Freedom, held I was accomplished the miracle of Acker 3, completely shutting down the opportunity for a threat to our Xeno Entomology Lab. Unfortunately, this did come at the cost of losing Trandor, our only foothold into the Sten Sector. 
but this would kickstart the liberation efforts for the Major Order. Returning from Acker 3, it was time to finish the job on Pandion 24. Helldivers deployed tactics unlike anything the stupid bugs have seen before. Despite being interrupted by a terminated outbreak on Garharan, Helldivers made quick work of finishing the liberation of Pandion 24. This began the vote for the next planet, Darius 2, or Gakrux. Preferring the toxic acid rain over the tall trees blocking eagle strikes, Helldiver liberation efforts were focused on Darius 2 throughout Day 248 until the defense of the seemingly too spooky to defend Garharan was lost. And just minutes afterwards, yet another terminated outbreak occurred on Akhenar Secundus. The Ahernar system. Uh, excuse me, what? The Ahernar system. Ahernar... Uh, well, you don't even have it spelled correctly on the map. Whoa, hey, slow down. Hey, stop playing the log. Ugh, sweet liberty, no, not like that. The Ahernar system. Alright, Ahernar Secundus was attacked. Helldivers completed the liberation of Darius II in the early morning of Day 249. And before moving on to Gakrux, Helldivers decided to support the defense of Ahernar first, completing it shortly after halfway through the day. With just one planet left, Gakrux was next, and the liberation campaign went very swiftly. Though a new terminated outbreak occurred on Gotri in the morning of Day 250, the majority of Helldivers super destroyers remained on Gakrux to finish the job while another fraction split off to hold the line. But shortly after the liberation of Gakrux, another terminated outbreak occurred on Pandian 24. Helldivers initially split half and half between the two defenses. However, once the defense of Gotria seemed well in hand, Helldivers shifted back to Pandian 24 to ensure the security of our quarantine zone. And by the morning of day 251, Pandian 24 was secured. Now with no further terminates in the quarantine zone for now, Helldivers split between Fak Bay and Trandor to further establish control over the Jinshi sector. But this was unfortunately short lived, as out of the gloom, two new terminated outbreaks occurred on Astanu and Crimsica. By the end of Day 251, the defense of Crimsica is not trending well. Losing this defense will significantly put the Major Order at risk. And in addition, if Astanu is lost, this adds the risk that it will be enveloped by the gloom. This concludes this data log for days 244 through 251 data archive. We will continue to deploy to hold the quarantine zone for the Terminated Research Reserve. The Defender of Freedom is deploying Helldivers to Crimsica.